Agnes Ayres was a trailblazing actress who made her mark in Hollywood during the silent film era. Born in Whitey Dini, 98, she began her career on the stage before transitioning to film. Ayres quickly gained popularity for her natural beauty and acting talent, and soon became one of the most sought-after leading ladies in Hollywood. One of Ayres' most notable roles was in the 1921 film The Shake, where she starred alongside Rudolph Valentino. The film was a massive success and cemented Ayres' status as a major star. She went on to appear in numerous other films throughout the 1920s, including The Affairs of Anatole, Orphans of the Storm, and The Son of the Shake. Ayres' success in the film industry was not limited to her acting abilities. She was also known for her business savvy and became one of the first actresses to negotiate her own contracts. This allowed her to earn a significant income and gain more control over her career. Despite her success, Ayres' career was short-lived. The advent of talking pictures in the late 1920s led to a decline in her popularity and she eventually retired from acting in the early 1930s. However, her impact on the film industry was undeniable and she is still remembered today as a pioneering actress who paved the way for future generations of women in Hollywood. Agnes Ayres was a renowned actress best known for her role in the 1921 film The Shake with Rudolph Valentino. She appeared in over 80 films throughout her career during the silent film era. We'd like to hear from you one. Which of Agnes Ayres' many legendary works do you believe defined her career? Two. Which work of hers do you hold closest to your heart? We'd also love to hear about any cherished memories or personal experiences related to this classic star. Please share them in the comments below. Stay tuned as we delve into some surprising, humorous, and emotional stories about Agnes Ayres' life and career. You won't want to miss it! Agnes Ayres, born in 1898 in Chicago, Illinois, was the daughter of a successful businessman. She was raised in a comfortable home and had a privileged upbringing. Ayres' mother, a former actress, introduced her to the world of theater at a young age, sparking her interest in acting. Ayres' family encouraged her to pursue her passion, and she began performing in local theater productions. She was soon discovered by a talent scout and offered a contract with famous players Lasky, a major film production company at the time. Once in Hollywood, Ayres was influenced and mentored by some of the industry's biggest stars, including Mary Pickford and Douglas Fairbanks. Pickford, in particular, took Ayres under her wing and taught her the ins and outs of the film industry. Ayres' career took off, and she quickly became one of the most popular actresses of the 1920s. She starred in numerous films, including the silent classic The Shake opposite Rudolph Valentino. Ayres' on-screen chemistry with Valentino was undeniable, and the film became a massive hit, cementing her status as a leading lady. Throughout her career, Ayres continued to be influenced and inspired by those around her, including her directors, co-stars, and family members. Her passion for acting and dedication to her craft made her a beloved figure in Hollywood and a true testament to the power of mentorship and support in the entertainment industry. Agnes Ayres was a significant actress during the silent film era of the 1910s and 1920s. She is best known for her role as Princess Anne in the 1921 film The Shake opposite Rudolph Valentino. Ayres' performance in this film propelled her to stardom and made her one of the most popular actresses of her time. Born in 1898 in Chicago, Illinois, Ayres began her acting career in 1914, appearing in various short films. She eventually moved on to feature films and quickly gained a reputation for her beauty and talent. In addition to The Sheik, Ayres appeared in several other successful films, including The Glory of Clementina and Orphans of the Storm. Despite her success, Ayres' career was relatively short-lived. She retired from acting in the late 1920s and passed away in 1940 at the age of 42. However, her impact on the film industry and her contributions to the art of acting continue to be celebrated and remembered today. Ayers' work in The Sheik is particularly notable for her ability to convey emotion and depth through her performance, despite the limitations of silent film. Her portrayal of Princess Anne was nuanced and complex, and she brought a sense of realism and humanity to the character. Overall, Agnes Ayres was a talented and influential actress who left a lasting impact on the film industry. 
Her work continues to inspire and captivate audiences, and she remains an important figure in the history of American cinema. Agnes Ayres, a talented actress, discovered her passion for acting during her childhood. She was captivated by the thrill of performing in school plays and community theater. A pivotal experience for Ayres was watching a professional stage production of Romeo and Juliet. The powerful performances of the actors left a deep impression on her. She was particularly moved by the intensity and emotion that the actors brought to their roles. This experience fueled her desire to pursue a career in acting. After finishing school, Ayers began her journey in the world of acting by taking on small roles in local theater productions. She worked tirelessly to perfect her craft, taking acting classes and attending workshops. Her hard work and dedication paid off when she was offered a role in a major motion picture. This opportunity allowed her to showcase her talent to a wider audience and solidified her passion for acting. From that moment on, Ayers dedicated her life to her craft, becoming a respected and accomplished actress in the industry. Agnes Ayers was a prominent actress in the early 1920s, uh, known for her work with Cecil B. DeMille. She starred in three of his productions, Forbidden Fruit, The Affairs of Anatole, and The Ten Commandments. After her passing, Ayers was interred at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery in Los Angeles, California. In 1960, she was posthumously awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6514 Hollywood BLVD. These recognitions serve as a testament to her enduring impact on the film industry. Agnes Ayres, a talented actress, faced many challenges in her early career. She struggled financially and faced skepticism from the industry. However, she never gave up and found creative solutions to overcome these obstacles. Despite her financial difficulties, Ayers was determined to pursue her dream of acting. She worked hard to hone her craft and auditioned for any role she could find. Her resilience paid off when she was finally given a chance to prove herself in the industry. Ayers faced skepticism from some industry professionals who doubted her abilities. However, she refused to let their doubts discourage her. Instead, she used their skepticism as motivation to work even harder and prove them wrong. One of the creative solutions Ayers found to overcome obstacles was to expand her skills as an actress. She worked tirelessly to perfect her craft and took on a variety of roles to showcase her versatility. This helped her to stand out in a crowded industry and gain recognition for her talents. Another challenge Ayers faced was the lack of opportunities for women in the industry. However, she refused to let this hold her back. She sought out roles that allowed her to showcase her talents and worked to create opportunities for herself and other women in the industry. Through her hard work, determination, and creativity, Agnes Ayres was able to overcome the obstacles she faced in her early career and become a successful actress. Her story is a testament to the power of resilience and the importance of never giving up on your dreams. Agnes Ayres, like Gloria Swanson, was discovered at SNA's Chicago studios while on tour. She gained the nickname The O. Henry Girl due to her appearances in numerous two reel films based on O. Henry short stories for Vitagraph. Ayers' career flourished in the 1920s, but she faced significant financial struggles after the 1929 stock market crash, which led to the loss of much of her fortune. Despite these challenges, Ayers continued to act in films throughout the decade. Her perseverance and determination serve as a reminder of the resilience that is often required in the face of adversity. Agnes Ayres, an actress from the silent film era, had a few breakthrough moments in her career. In 1921, she starred in the movie The Sheik alongside Rudolph Valentino. This film became a massive hit and brought Ayres significant recognition. The New York Times praised her performance, stating she was charming and beautiful in the role. Ayres' portrayal of Lady Diana Mayo in The Sheik was a turning point in her career. It not only solidified her status as a leading lady, but also typecast her in similar roles. However, this film's success opened doors for her, leading to more substantial and challenging parts. Another breakthrough moment for Ayers was her role in the 1922 film The Grace of God. Her performance was highly acclaimed, with critics praising her acting skills and versatility. The film's director, Alan Duan, was quoted as saying, Agnes Ayers was a revelation in The Grace of God, 
Her performance was nuanced and heartfelt, which added depth to the character. Ayers' career continued to flourish throughout the 1920s, with her appearing in numerous successful films. However, with the advent of talkies, her career began to decline. Despite this, her contributions to the silent film era remained significant, and her breakthrough performances continue to be celebrated. In summary, Agnes Ayers had a few pivotal moments in her career, with her roles in The Shake and The Grace of God being the most notable. These performances showcased her talent and versatility, cementing her place in film history. Agnes Ayers, born April 4, 1998, was a silent film actress who faced hardships and struggles throughout her life. She is best known for her role as Lady Mary Blanche in the 1921 film The Shake, where she starred alongside Rudolph Valentino. Ayers was married twice. Her first marriage was to Roy M. Skotsak, a film director and producer, in 1924. However, the marriage ended in divorce in 1927. Her second marriage was to Manuel Rionda, a Cuban sugar magnate, in 1932. This marriage also ended in divorce in 1939. Ayers did not have any children. Despite her success in the film industry, Ayers faced financial struggles later in life. She was forced to sell her Hollywood home and move to New York City, where she lived in a small apartment. She passed away on December 25, 1940, at the age of 42 due to a cerebral hemorrhage. One lesser known fact about Ayers is that she was one of the first actresses to popularize the bob hairstyle in the 1920s. She also had a passion for art and painting, and she spent much of her free time creating art pieces. Ayers' career in the film industry was not without its challenges. She faced discrimination and was often typecast in certain roles due to her gender and age. However, she persevered and continued to act in films until her untimely death. In summary, Agnes Ayers was a talented actress who faced hardships and struggles throughout her life. Despite these challenges, she remained dedicated to her craft and left a lasting impact on the film industry. Her personal life included two marriages and financial struggles, but she also had a passion for art and painting. Agnes Ayers, a silent film actress, was known for her unique approach to acting. She believed in fully immersing herself in a character, often drawing from her personal experiences to bring depth and authenticity to her roles. Ayers was particularly skilled at portraying complex emotions with subtlety, a talent that set her apart from many of her contemporaries. Her worldview was greatly influenced by the progressive era, which emphasized social reform and individual freedom. This perspective is reflected in her work through her portrayal of strong, independent women who challenge societal norms. One of Ayers' most notable roles was in the 1921 film The Shake, where she played Lady Diana Mayo, a headstrong Englishwoman who falls in love with a shake, played by Rudolph Valentino. Ayers brought a modern sensibility to the character, portraying Diana as a woman who is not afraid to assert her own desires and agency. Ayers' artistic process was deeply intuitive and personal. She would spend hours alone, contemplating her character and trying to understand their motivation and emotions. She would then bring this insight to the set, creating a performance that was both nuanced and deeply fell lieutenant despite facing many challenges in the male-dominated film industry. Ayers remained committed to her craft and continued to push boundaries throughout her career. Her unique approach to acting and her commitment to portraying complex, multidimensional women have left a lasting impact on the film industry and continue to inspire actors today. Agnes Ayers began her film career in the 1910s, uh, sharing a dressing room with Gloria Swanson at SNA Pictures. She gained fame for her role as Lady Diana Mayo in the 1921 film The Shake, where she was billed above Rudolph Valentino, the male lead. However, by September 1937, her circumstances had changed dramatically. She was reported to be working as a residential rental agent and was practically penniless. Despite her fall and fortune, Ayers' portrayal of Lady Diana Mayo remains a significant moment in film history. Agnes Ayers was a significant figure in the early Hollywood film industry. She began her career in the 1910s uh, and quickly rose to fame after being cast in several high-profile films. Ayers is perhaps best known for her role as Cleopatra in the 1921 film The Shake, which catapulted her to stardom and made her one of the most popular actresses of her time. Ayers' impact on the film industry was substantial. 
She was one of the first actresses to become a major star based solely on her work in films, rather than having a background in theater or vaudeville. This helped to establish the idea of Hollywood as a separate and distinct entity from other forms of entertainment. Additionally, Ayer's work in The Shake helped to popularize the shake genre of films, which featured romantic stories set in exotic locations. These films were incredibly popular in the 1920s and helped to establish the careers of several other actresses, including Rudolph Valentino, who starred opposite Ayers in The Shake. Ayers' influence can also be seen in the techniques used by filmmakers during this time. She was known for her ability to convey complex emotions with just a look or a gesture, which helped to create a more nuanced and sophisticated form of storytelling. This style of acting was in contrast to the more melodramatic and exaggerated performances that were common in earlier films. Industry experts and those heirs inspired have commented on her contribution to the film industry. Film historian Kevin Brownlow described Ayers as one of the most beautiful and talented actresses of the silent era, and her work in The Shake has been praised for its intense and passionate performance. In addition to her impact on the film industry, Ayers was also a trailblazer for women's rights. She was one of the first actresses to demand equal pay and treatment from the studios, and she was an outspoken advocate for women's suffrage. In conclusion, Agnes Ayers was a significant figure in the early Hollywood film industry. Her work in films such as The Shack helped to establish the idea of Hollywood as a separate and distinct entity from other forms of entertainment, and her acting style helped to create a more nuanced and sophisticated form of storytelling. Additionally, her advocacy for women's rights made her a trailblazer for future generations of actresses. Agnes Ayers started her film career with a minor part in Richard the Brazen at Vitagraph after Alice Joyce noticed their resemblance and recommended her for the role. This break led to Ayers playing the lead in several movies, including the hit film The Sheik alongside Rudolph Valentino. Ayers' career peaked in the 1920s, where she was one of the most popular leading ladies in Hollywood. She appeared in over 40 films during this decade. However, her career declined in the late 1920s due to personal issues and the industry's transition to talkies, where she struggled to adapt to the new medium. Despite her career's downfall, Agnes Ayers left a significant mark in the film industry. Her work in The Shake remains iconic, and her contribution to the silent film era is still celebrated. Although her career was short-lived, it was impactful, and her legacy continues to resonate with film enthusiasts today. Agnes Ayers, a talented actress, had a life full of personal values and interests that greatly influenced her work. She was known for her strong sense of compassion and often chose roles that highlighted the struggles and triumphs of ordinary people. Ayers was deeply committed to various philanthropic efforts with a particular passion for children's welfare. She often used her platform to raise awareness for child welfare organizations and actively participated in fundraising events to support their causes. In her personal life, Agnes Ayers was an avid reader and loved to spend her free time immersed in books. She believed that reading was a way to expand her horizons and gain a deeper understanding of the world around her. This passion for knowledge was evident in her work as she often brought a depth and complexity to her characters that captivated audiences. Ayers was also a lover of nature and enjoyed spending time outdoors. She believed that being in nature helped her to recharge and find inspiration for her work. Her appreciation for the beauty of the natural world often found its way into her roles as she frequently portrayed characters who had a deep connection to the natural world. In addition to her love of reading and nature, Agnes Ayers was a talented musician. She loved to play the piano and often used music as a way to relax and unwind after a long day on set. Her love of music was reflected in her work as she often chose roles in films that featured music prominently. Overall, Agnes Ayers was a multi-talented actress who brought her personal values and interest to every role she played. Her commitment to philanthropy, love of reading, appreciation for nature, and talent for music all contributed to her unique and captivating performances. Agnes Ayers faced a tragic end to her life and career. Despite being a popular leading lady in the 1920s, she struggled with financial difficulties and personal issues later in life. She was even forced to sell her Hollywood memorabilia to make ends meet. 
Ayer's health declined, and she passed away in 1940 at the age of 50, largely forgotten by the industry and fans that once adored her. This sad turn of events serves as a reminder of the fleeting nature of fame and fortune in the entertainment industry. Agnes Ayers was a significant figure in the early Hollywood film industry. She became well known for her role in the 1921 film The Shake, which helped establish her as a leading lady. Ayers' career spanned over a decade, and she worked with many notable directors and actors of her time. Although Ayers' career was ultimately cut short due to personal issues, her impact on the film industry remains noteworthy. She helped pave the way for future actresses and contributed to the development of the film industry during its formative years. For those aspiring to follow in Ayers' footsteps, her advice would likely be to stay dedicated and committed to your craft. The entertainment industry can be challenging and unpredictable, but with persistence and hard work, you can achieve your goals. Additionally, Ayers might encourage aspiring professionals to be adaptable and open to new opportunities, as this can lead to unexpected and exciting experiences. In terms of future contributions, the film industry continues to evolve and change with new technologies and platforms emerging all the time. Those looking to make their mark in the industry should stay informed about these developments and consider how they might use them to tell unique and compelling stories. Ultimately, Ayers Legacy serves as a reminder of the power of perseverance and the importance of staying true to your passions. By following in her footsteps and staying committed to their goals, aspiring professionals can make meaningful contributions to the film industry and leave their own lasting impact. If you've enjoyed watching films from the golden age of Hollywood, you might be familiar with the talented actress Agnes Ayers. Known for her work in the early 19s, Ayers left a lasting impact on the film industry. We'd love to hear your thoughts on her performances and legacy in the comments below. Ayers was a trailblazer in her own right, appearing in over 50 films throughout her career. Some of her most notable roles include playing the lead in the 1921 film The Shake alongside Rudolph Valentino. Her work continues to inspire actors and filmmakers today. Did you have a favorite performance of Agnes Ayers? Or perhaps you've been inspired by her story and the role she played? We encourage you to share your thoughts and memories with our community. If you enjoy this content, please consider liking and sharing it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories about the creative spirits who have shaped entertainment. Your support helps us continue to create and share this content with you. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, and we look forward to hearing your thoughts on Agnes Ayer's work and legacy.